morning students. I am going to teach you the harmful effect of plastics, synthetic fibers or the polymers or the plastics. These all are coming under the category of synthetic fibers. Children, you have done much regarding that. Now let's come to the chemistry. What exact the problem of using the synthetic fiber at the same time disposing them? What are the problems faced by us in disposing? What are the harmful effects of synthetic fibers? It is last but one topic. So tomorrow I think this chapter will be over. Now we are on the last phase of harmful effect. Just see that what we are going to see. Plastics are non biodegradable substance. It cannot be broken down into a harmless simple substance by the action of bacteria. Do term hamare paas aata hai. Ek wo jo biodegradable hai. Ek wo jo non biodegradable hai. Jo plastic sam use karte hain. Jo man made material hai. Generally they are non biodegradable. They are not decomposed by the bacteria. It means this plastic or the synthetic fibers such as rayon, polyester, nylon, everything came to the earth. We have made it for forever. Sada ke liye. It cannot be decomposed by the bacteria. Therefore, definitely it poses the hazards. Another part, biodegradable is what? So, what are the examples of non-biodegradable substances? The substances which are non-biodegradable are made by the man in the laboratory, such as plastic, terrilene, polyester, nylon, Teflon, Orlon, PTFM, PAN, Polyacrylon Atrides, Polyvinyl Chlorides, etc. On day to day use, bucket, polythene bags, carry bags, plastic, packings of cement. Plastic toys, plastic paints, plastic materials, wires, these all things are comes under the categories. You have got the non-biodegradable. They are not being degraded, they are not being decomposed by the external bacteria. So, I have given you a few examples for you, synthetic fibers, bakelites and plastic. Second, the substance which can be decomposed by the action of bacteria, such substances are known as biodegradable substances. What are that biodegradable? All the natural fibers which may be the man or plant, all the natural fibers which may be the plant or animal fibers. It is decomposed by the action of bacteria. That's why they are called the biodegradable substances. It has the least harmful effect as compared to the non-biodegradable. So, but the thing is biodegradable. It is done. It is done. So, it is the least harmful. For example, wool, cotton, jute, <coughs> Peels of the fruit, vegetables, fruit ke chil ke roj fekte ho, roj ke bhai degrade ho jata. Khatam ho jata, dhe dhe dhe. By the action of bacteria. But, dhe dhe, but, the synthetic polymers are not being degraded. 
What is the repercussion to the environment? This you have come to the what is the nature of it? What is repercussion to the environment? In the environment means the key effect. Environment includes all three: air, water, and earth, which comes under the categories. So what happens? Number one, take it. What are the health and environmental hazards of disposal of plastics? If you dispose of plastics, what will you have? Hazards for that. I will ask you questions. <laughs> You write the question answer both. Question number one. What is the difference? between biodegradable biodegradable and and non biodegradable Right, at least ten months of each of biodegradable and non-bio substances. Question number three. Okay, gents, you need to write with these two question answers. Now, what are the health and environmental hazards of the disposal of plastic? We do not completely burn and produce toxic gas, and smoke causes air pollution. When you burn the plastic, it does not burn completely. But during the combustion process, the plastic material releases the toxic gas in the atmosphere. Which causes the environment problem, air pollution. Burning of smoke released in the burning of plastic causes air pollution, and remaining of the plastic causes soil or water pollution. अर्थात् air plastic, air, water and soil all three pollution causes. When it is dumped into the water, when you throw the water into the plastic, it causes water pollution for long run. Which way water it causes water pollution? It makes water too unfit for drinking. It makes water too unfit for water animals like fish. And other water-borne animals. How? Question. How? Plastic causes causes the 
problem. I will explain it, it is question is important. See when plastic covers the water surface, it's cut off the oxygen supply to the water. Atmospheric oxygen continues to dissolve into the water. This oxygen supplied to the water animals. When you cover the entire water with the plastic packs through it, and it is lighted, it floats, it does not allow oxygen to enter into the water. Therefore, the such water become oxygen deficient water. In the case of oxygen deficient water, the growth of the sea animal does not take place, and even the animal, water animals dies. So you need to explain in such way. Then, when it is down in the soil, when it is dumped in the soil, it causes soil pollution. When it is dumped in soil, causes soil causes soil pollution because it cannot be decomposed by microorganisms. See, now if you are throwing these plastics to the soil, it will cause your soil pollution. How it is causing the soil pollution? Explain. How? The plastic causes Soil pollution. Sir, I told you how it causes the soil pollution. Water pollution, I told you when it is covering the water, it does not allow the oxygen to enter into the water. Therefore, water becomes oxygen deficient. Water under the plastic will starve for oxygen. In turn, the animal staying in the water will die due to lack of oxygen. Now, how it is causes the soil pollution? Similar reason. How the plastic causes soil pollution? What happens when you throw the soils? Soil is not getting decomposed by the microorganism. So the rainwater, which is supposed to be seeped to the earth, it is not does not allow the rainwater to go to the earth. And finally, the rainwater evaporates. We have given you when it is the, when it is dumped in the soil, causes soil pollution because it cannot be decomposed by the microorganism. It prevents rainwater to seep into the earth. So rainwater cannot be seeped into the earth. It means it causes the soil pollution. So children, we did it easy. Now next, it causes clogging of what causes now if you throw the plastics. Polyester cloth, polish bucket, any plastic material, when you throw into the drainage, what it does it? It clogs the drain. It causes clogging of drains and sewage drains. So we should not never throw these items into the drainage or sewer lines. It is going to clog it. Now comes to the next part. It makes the plastic Ugly as it is thrown all over the places. Now, what are the habit when you take the plastics, when you took the wraps, wrappers of the toffee, biscuit, you throw all over the places. When you eat and throw it, so it litters all around. It makes the place ugly. So, plastics makes the place ugly, as it is very light and thrown all over the places. And the last point. It is harmful to the animal. How it is harmful to the animal? How plastic is harmful to the animals?
Now, how plastic is harmful to the animals? What happens when you throw the plastics? Along with that, you also might be throwing some eatables, some vegetables, the animal eats. So along with the vegetables, they eat plastic also. They can consume the eatables, they can consume the vegetables, they can consume the food, but they cannot consume the plastic, it is non-biodegradable, non-digestible. What happens? That plastic causes the clogging of respiratory respiratory tracts, sans nelly. It causes the clogging of respiratory tracts. So animal dies due to suffocation. So children, we have discussed with all the seven points and you need to write all five question answers today. So that in coming class, tomorrow we will teach you how we can dispose it and we can minimize the pollution during the disposal of synthetic fibers. Okay? We'll meet you tomorrow. Thank you.